in this video I will be talking about how to teach using Google Classroom as an online platform for engaging your students. The first thing that you require is the app itself, the Classroom app. For you to be able to access the Classroom app, you will need an email that you are given by your institution to be able to access it. In your Gmail account, which you are given by the institution and logged into it, you will have the Google app section just next to your picture. If you click on that Google app, you will see one of the apps that is listed is the Classroom app. Scroll down to the Classroom app and click on it. You will need an internet to be able to do that, an internet connection. So once you're able to get there, you need to have logged in. Very important, you need to have logged in to the email that was given by your institution. For me, I'll just pick the one that I was given, the email and the password. That allows you to enjoy the full features of Google Classroom app. The first exercise that I want us to do together is the creation of a class. As a teacher, you see this addition sign, the plus sign at the end. If you click on that, it will give you two options. Create class and join class. The students will pick join class through the code you will send them. But now for you as a teacher, you just click create class. Here, you're given a dialog box in which you are going to fill the class details. Okay, I am going to say that the class is going to be named hermeneutics. The other part section, subject or loom, are things that you might want to create. Let's say, for example, I'm taking a cohort one online for hermeneutics 2023. Because I may have the same class uh, using different students. So then I click create. Depending on the strength of your internet connection, the creation might be faster or slower. So you can see you will have now gotten to the page that explains what is involved in the app. There are three or four very important uh, parts in this Classroom app. The first one is a stream. If you click on stream, this is where you put the announcements for the class. So, for example, you can say to your students, uh, class has started. Class will start tomorrow. If you have a WhatsApp group, that is already created for the students. You take this code, class code, and send it to them. Then they will log in to the class. Or you can click on the three dots here and copy class invite code and then send it to their WhatsApp. If they are registered students and they have uh, emails as given by the institution, they should get into the class just immediately. 
The second is classwork. This is where you create a lot of your activities for the class. If you click on create, that tells you you can create an assignment, a quiz, a question, material. Uh, you can reuse the posts that you've done in the past or you can create classroom topics. We shall be dealing with that as we proceed. The next is people. This is where you see all your students when they come to class and all the teachers that are taking the class. So once the students get into your class, this is a place where they are going to be registered. And then the grades, that's where you will see all the grades that you have given, the assignments that you've given and the progress of how the students are committing themselves or are submitting. So it is a very easy app because it deals with very, uh, I mean, novel way of uh, engaging your students. Doesn't have a lot of complications. Another thing I want to say as you create the class is that you can customize the look of the class. If you click on that customize, you can decide, decide that your color is going to be a different color and you can save it. You see it has turned into uh, another theme color. It's now green. Uh, you can also customize it again and possibly say your color is going to be this one pink and safe you can see um, the the colors here have turned into pink so you can see it's pink all over so it's up to you it's up the the taste the taste that you would want to have and and so you can customize that you can also change the photo uh, for example, you can change this either from uh, your, you know, uh, computer or different images that have been given here. And you can decide to, to change, let me, for example, change this and say, I'm going to put uh, this one. And then I select the class theme changes again and the appearance is changed. So that is how you create a class. That is how you create a class. It's a very quick way. It is not complicated. Uh, creating a class and customizing the appearance of that class and inviting students to your class you invite them with a class code if you wanted to do a google meet class you just generate the link from here it's already embedded here and then you're able to uh, invite them and then you can have a google meet when you want to meet them so thank you very much that is how you create a class